Welcome to Live Interactive English. I'm your host Nina. Hello, everybody. I am your host Shane, and today we're looking at an article called "Sifting Out the Facts." Sifting. So we see "sift" S-I-F-T is capitalized, which、yeah. means that that's going to stand for something. Yeah. Right, it's not going to just have its literal meaning of what sifting is. But what is sifting? It's going to stand for something that we'll find out later when we、yeah. read the article. But to sift, like for example, if you have like a flour or sugar, and you want you don't want there to be little lumps chunks, or、right? chunks in there, you use this thing called a sieve, and you put the sugar or flour through there, and then you shake it out, and then all of the Flour that doesn't have any lumps, and、yeah. all the sugar that doesn't have lumps goes through there, and then the other stuff gets stuck in the sieve. So, here, if we're trying to sift out facts,、mm -hmm. we'll probably be trying to. There'll be some kind of、uh, information, or maybe some kind of a rumor,、mm -hmm. or something, and we need to use our logic and research to kind of. Put it through a sieve in our mind, yeah. By doing things like research to try to figure out what is fact and what is fiction. Yeah. So kind of like I heard this rumor. Well, I read this news article that、uh, Justin Bieber and Hailey Bieber got a divorce.、Oh. But I only saw it from one source, and I think gossip columns are known to make up things. Yeah. So I think it's probably a good idea to sift out the facts. Yeah.、Right? So that means you're you're gonna definitely need to do a little bit more research, especially if you know that you read it from like a gossip column. Exactly. Okay. Well, let's get into today's article. Every day, millions of new articles and videos are uploaded to the internet. While the web can be a valuable source of information, much of what's on there is totally made up. Finding the truth can be hard, but there is a method you can use to help you be more discerning about what you're reading. It's the SIFT method, which stands for stop, investigate, find, and trace. Okay, everyone. Now we're back to sifting out the facts. Okay, let me begin reading this article. Every day, millions of new articles and videos are uploaded to the internet. While the web can be a valuable source of information, much of what's on there is totally made up. So we see internet and web here. Yeah. So you can say them interchangeably. The、yes. internet just is the web,、mm -hmm. right?、Um, so much of what's on there is totally made up. Did you know that? Yeah, I think so. Because、yeah. there are so many different opinions, so many different stories about the same thing. And people just pass on information without really doing any research. Yeah. They just oh wow, did you hear Justin Bieber is getting a divorce? And <laughs> then you tell me, and then I tell my wife. Yeah. And then pretty soon it just spreads, and we don't know if it's really true or not. Yes,、yeah, so it is, but it is very valuable. The、mm -hmm. internet, valuable is an adjective. It means worth a lot of money or very important.、Mm. So, for example, I learned a valuable lesson about time management when I missed my morning train.、Mm. <laughs> Makes sense. We have another vocabulary word: information, and that's a noun. Information is just facts or details about somebody or something.、Mm -hmm. So, for example, Jeff made notes so that he didn't forget any of the information.、Mm -hmm. So you see a lot of information on the internet, but、exactly. you don't know whether it's true. That's true. Right?、Mm -hmm. Okay. So continuing, finding the truth can be hard, but there is a method you can use to help you be more discerning about what you're reading. So I'm guessing it's the sift 
method, right? Yeah, but, it's probably a good guess. Yeah, and this method can help you be more discerning. So discerning means showing or having a good understanding or a good judgment. Right, right. Kind of knowing, you know, what is right and what is wrong,、mm -hmm. and being able to examine it. Yes.、Um, we have another vocabulary word, method, which is a noun. That is a particular way of doing something.、Mm -hmm. So, for example, you could say, "My dad has a special method for cleaning his shoes." Okay. Interesting. Maybe he soaks it first. He uses some bleach if it's white. I just、know. I just usually throw my shoes into the washing machine. Isn't that bad for the washing machine? Um, it seems my washing machine washing machine <laughs> washing machine seems to be fine. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So continuing. So what is this method? It's the sift method. So I told you that sifting. The Y is it capitalized? It's because sift is going to stand for something,、yes. right? So it's the sift method, which stands for stop, investigate, find, and trace. Okay, and you know each letter is. Okay, rep represents those words, right? That's right.、Okay. So the S stands for stop. So kind of stop. It、What、might be fake news. Like,、huh. oh, Justin Bieber is getting married. I'm not just going to go and pass this along on、yeah. my social media. I'm not going to come here and tell Shane that. <laughs>、uh, I'm going to stop. Then I'm going to investigate. Investigate. Go online a little bit more. Check some other. Resources. You know, resources. Yeah.、Okay. And then you're going to find something by doing that,、mm -hmm. right? So the F stands for find. Maybe I go to Justin Bieber's Instagram and see if he still has pictures with、oh, Haley Bieber, right? Okay. Yeah, and then I find the latest picture. He still loves her. They're cuddling. They're cuddling、yeah. and they're kissing. Or maybe they've even posted something like, "It's not true. Exactly. We are not getting a divorce. We are very happily married." And finally, trace. So to trace something means to where of, the information came from. Yeah,、right? to、okay. look for where the information or where something came from is、mm. to trace it. To go so back. So sift. All right, let's take a short break, and we'll come back and learn more. Sounds good. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。同学们是不是常在划手机、看文章、看影片呢？课文提到说，每天有数百万的新文章和影片上传到网络上。虽然网络可以是很宝贵的资讯来源，但是其中有大部分的内容都是虚构的。我们今天课程就是要介绍一个方法来帮助大家查明真相，让你对阅读的内容更有鉴别力。那这个方法叫做 S I F T Sift。那这个 S。代表 stop 停止 ，I 代表 investigate 调查，也就是调查消息来源 ，F 代表 find 是查明查明真假，那么 T 代表 trace 表示追查出处。那我们来看单字 valuable，valuable valuable 这个形容词就是形容重要的、有用的或是宝贵的。Information 则是资讯消息，它是不可数名词。那么 method。它表示方法、方式。单字例句有提到清洁鞋子的方法。那么这时候 ，Nina 老师她有用到动词 soak, s o a k, soak， 它表示浸泡或者是渗透，它还有吸收的意思。老师还有提到漂白剂的英文是 bleach, b l e a c h, bleach 就是漂白、漂白剂。好，那我们文中的补充单字 discerning， discerning 则表示有辨别力的、有眼光的。那这边两个重点，我们进入文法时间。好，我们来看第一个重点是 make up 的不同意思。首先，第一个它可以用来表达编造啊、虚构，像是编造故事啊、谎言、借口等等。这时候是当及物用，例如 the story wasn't real， he made it up。那个故事不是真的，是他编造的。第二个，我们可以用 make up 来表达凑足、补足，这时候是当及物用。像 I was wondering if I might be able to come in early to make up the time。我想知道能不能早点上班来补足那段时间。那第三个，我们可以用 make up 来表达在争执过后和好、重修旧好，这时候是当不及物用。例如 Ted made up with his girlfriend yesterday。Ted 昨天跟他的女朋友和好了。
。好，那看到第二个重点是 stand for 的不同意思。首先，它可以表达代表，或者是表达字母是什么什么的缩写，像是 AI stands for artificial intelligence。AI 是人工智慧的缩写。那第二个，我们可以用 stand for 去表达支持、主张，像是 We stand for freedom of speech， 我们支持言论自由。好，那第三个，我们可以用 stand for 去表达容忍，那常用在否定当中，例如 I'm not going to stand for her arrogance any longer， 我不会再容忍她的傲慢了。好，接华课文中。So, how do you apply the method when you read something online? First, take a minute to stop and think. Don't share it on social media just yet. Next, investigate the site itself. Is it a respected newspaper, for example, or just someone's personal blog? Then, try to find if other respected sites are reporting the same information. If not, it's more likely to be false. Lastly, trace any quotes or research back to their original sources in order to make sure they're not being misused. You should share the information only if it has passed every stage. By taking these simple but important steps, you can stop yourself and others from being fooled by lies and half truths. Hi everyone, welcome back. And before the break, we were learning about how we can access so much information on the internet, but it's hard to tell what is true and what is not,、yes. right? So we learned the SIFT method, which actually stands for stop, investigate, find, and trace. So hopefully that will help you find out. You know the right information. All right. So how do we apply this? Okay. So how do you apply the method when you read something online? So that's the important thing, is because a lot of times, well, I mean, most of the time now, we're getting our information online. online. Not many people are buying newspapers anymore. Yeah.、Uh, I guess you can get word of mouth, hearing things from people, but.、Yeah. Typically, we're seeing something online for the first time.、Mm -hmm. So first, take a minute to stop and think. All right. So remember, sift. The first thing is stop. So stop and think. Don't share it on social media just yet.、Mm. Okay. Next, investigate the site itself. So the site, as in the website, right? Right. Like、okay. you said, that information you got. You know, it was from kind of a gossip site. Yes. Right. So you've already kind of investigated. You know.、Mm -hmm. Right. So they say, is it a respected newspaper, for example, or just someone's personal blog?、Mm -hmm. Or maybe it could just be a site that's known for sharing, you know, rumors or thoughts. Right. right? Okay. okay. Continuing. Then try to find if other respected sites are reporting the same information. Remember when I said I saw that news article? It was only from one site, and I didn't see it anywhere else.、Ah. So that's a little sign right there, right? Yeah, because you could always just Google like Justin Bieber divorce. And see if it comes up on big things like maybe like the New York Times. I'm not sure the New York、CNN. Times <laughs> would cover these things. Yeah, you'd be surprised. <laughs> they, 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 they have gossip and you know like that kind of entertainment news,、uh, okay. right?、Yeah. I don't know if that's big enough to make the New York Times, but you could find some at least some sources that you're familiar with and have a good reputation. Yes. Okay. If not, it's more likely to be false. So it's more likely to not be true.、Hmm. Okay. Lastly, trace any quotes or research back to their original sources in order to make sure they're not being misused. Oh. So, for example, like you said, maybe the original source is something that was seen on Justin Bieber's. Instagram. Yeah. You know, maybe that's where the source was. So you can go back to the source. It could say it was reported、mm -hmm. on Justin Bieber's 
Instagram that he's going to be getting divorced. Yeah. And then you go there and you read something that is similar to it. Maybe、uh, we've been having trouble in our marriage. Yeah. But that doesn't mean they're getting a divorce. Exactly. So a lot of times people like to exaggerate or misinterpret. Yeah, when they when they're using a headline or something, just to draw you in to make you interested. But if you go to the original source, you can find out. Oh, actually, this is what they said.、Mm -hmm, right? Exactly. And we have a word quote. It means. Words someone has said or written.、Mm. So, for example, the newspaper article included quotes from the president himself. Okay. We also have original, which is an adjective, which just means existing at the beginning of a particular period, process, or activity.、Okay. So, for example, my parents were the original owners of this house.、Mm. Okay. Continuing. You should share the information only if it has passed every stage. So every stage of the sift method, right? By taking these simple but important steps, you can stop yourself and others from being fooled by lies and half truths.、Ah. So half truths are basically information that's only partially true. Kind、right? of like I was saying, just to be reminded that we've been having trouble in our marriage. Yeah. But that doesn't mean he said they're going to get a divorce. So it's true they're having trouble. Yeah. So we could call that like a half truth. Yeah.、Um, okay. We have a what do you think question. So let me ask、okay. you: Where do you mainly get your information from? Do you think the this information is reliable? Yeah. So usually I rely on information that has, for for example, it's an official website, right?、Mm. So it's either a government's website or a, a, what is it? On a, some website that that ends with O R G, things、oh, okay. like that.、Right. Or if I get information and I'm not sure about it, or I'm not sure if the website is real. Then I go to check the website. So there are、yeah. some some methods that you can use online to check. Oh, is this website legit or not? Or、yeah. if it's a scam or something like. And、that. there's also websites that you can that actually follow some of the gossip that's coming out, and you can go to that website to find out if something is true、mm, or not. Okay. Yeah. So there's lots of ways to do your research, but it's important before you start spreading rumors. Exactly. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye bye. <音楽>好，那我们来看看如何应用 Sift 这个方法。当你在网络上阅读内容时，先别急着在社群媒体上分享。应该先花点时间停下来思考。那么下一步是调查网站的本身，也许呢它是具有声望的报纸，也许只是某个人的个人部落格啊、粉丝页等等。接着我们就要尝试去寻找其他具有声望的网站，看看是否也有报道相同的资讯。如果没有呢，那就有可能是假的哦。最后呢，要追溯任何引文或者是研究的原始来源，确保他们没有被误用。当资讯有通过每个阶段的检验后，你再分享资讯，这样就能防止自己和他人被谎言还有半真半假的话所欺骗了。来看单字 quote， quote 当名词，它表示引语、引文； original 则是形容最初的、原来的。那老师们提到说，有时人们会把事情夸张渲染、曲解部分的事实等等。那老师用到 exaggerate 这个动词 e x a g g e r a t e。Exaggerate， 它可以表达夸大其词、夸张或是言过其实。老师还用到 misinterpret，m i s i n t e r p r e t。Misinterpret， 它就表示曲解、误解。那还有一个副词就是 partially， partially 它表示部分的或是在某种程度上。另外，老师在讲到查询网站是否正当时，它用到 legit 这个形容词 ，l e g i t legit， 它是形容合法的、正当的。好，那么以上的今天的讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。Every day, millions of new articles and videos are uploaded to the internet. While the web can be a valuable source of information, much of what's on there is totally made up. 
Finding the truth can be hard, but there is a method you can use to help you be more discerning about what you're reading. It's the SIFT method, which stands for Stop, Investigate, Find, and Trace. So how do you apply the method when you read something online? First, take a minute to stop and think. Don't share it on social media just yet. Next, investigate the site itself. Is it a respected newspaper, for example, or just someone's personal blog? Then, try to find if other respected sites are reporting the same information. If not, it's more likely to be false. Lastly, trace any quotes or research back to their original sources in order to make sure they're not being misused. You should share the information only if it has passed every stage. By taking these simple but important steps, you can stop yourself and others from being fooled by lies and half-truths. Hey, 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 it's Kiwi, Kiwi on, on the, the street. street. I'm Kiki. And I'm Winnie. Did you know this statue is actually MIT? Mm -hmm. MIT? Like the right. university? No, MIT stands for Made in Taiwan. Oh, it's one of those abbreviations. And that's what we're going to work on today. Abbreviations. All right, let's work on some abbreviations. All right, our first one is AI. What is AI? Uh, I, I think I is means intelligence. Okay. But A is A is uh, artificial. I think is Apple intelligence. Apple. <laughs> artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. AI is artificial intelligence. Very good. Okay. What about PLS? Mm. Please, 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 please. Very good. Okay, and then our last one, NP. No, please. No photo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no pressure. No problem. Very, Very good. good. <laughs> All right, what did we learn today? Let's work on some abbreviations. Our first one is AI, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. So for example, ChatGPT is a great artificial intelligence tool. Then we have PLS, please, please. So for example, you say, I'll take one hamburger, please. Usually this is shorthand for when we text. Then we have NP, no problem, no problem. So for example, you could say, no problem, it's free of charge. It's kind of another way of also saying you're welcome. That's all we have for today. Kiwi later. <laughs>